Hey guys, so I just wanted to unbox the Galaxy A3 2017. This is coming with a smaller display, uh, 4.7 inches, and we're getting the same kind of specs as the A5 2017. So we're just going to have a look at the phone here and uh, see uh, what it's all about. This is the most affordable of the new a series so let's see what we're getting here so this is uh, coming in ni nice pocketable phone very pocketable as you can see and this is coming with SM A320 FL for the model and you do get your standard stuff I think it does support fast charging let's have a look hopefully it does it's not the cheapest phone so it's better do uh, you can see we do get uh, nice uh, earphones here some quality ones which is good and uh, we're going to put all that back in the box and see the phone mm. so water and dust resistant and also uh, 13 megapixel camera now with an 8 megapixel on the front should do the job so we're just going to unpeel everything you can see very nice black glass construction here and the type C at the bottom so uh, very uh, nice non-offensive design you know doesn't really stand out but again we have the speaker on the side which is very interesting place so maybe this screen will flicker as well quite a lot uh, in terms of the specs, we are getting an octa-core processor, which is the 7870. Uh, we are also getting, uh, what is the RAM, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs internal storage. Uh, so not quite as much as the A5, but we do get 5G support, which is nice. I don't think we got that with the last one. I don't even know if I bought the last one, actually. I'll have to find out. I probably did but forgot to review it so I'm just putting my password in and we can see the startup here for your GPU you're getting a Mali uh, T830 and uh, that should be quite decent Gorilla Glass unspecified version, 312 PPI, so 720p display, same as the iPhone 7. And you can see quite a lengthy setup process here, but eventually we do get in there. And we're in. So we're just going to bump the brightness up a little bit. As you can see, very nice TouchWiz uh, interface here. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm going to probably do some videos with this one, see how it compares against some smaller phones. So do stay tuned for that. 
Uh, I gotta say, you know, it looks very similar to the iPhone 7 here uh, in terms of the like the form factor. I can barely tell the difference between them. Well, obviously, this one looks a little bit smaller, uh, but you do get on the iPhone a little bit uh, kind of metal design, which does help with the fingerprints. Uh, but you know very uh, nice here if you're looking for a smaller phone with a interesting kind of uh, design here with the active display uh, so yeah uh, i will see you in the next one cheers